Okay, today we're taking a look at the new redesigned 2012 Honda CRV or City Recreational Vehicle. The Honda CRV has been the best selling crossover in the marketplace segment for over 13 years. This is the fourth generation and by and large the most useful, resourceful, prettiest, most efficient, safest CRV that's ever been produced. A large 18 inch wheel and tire of course is standard, very, very nice. Beautiful high chrome accents to this diamond white finish. It's truly got sparkle of all kinds in the paint. A little bit of a departure for Honda. I hate to say it guys, but it's pretty. It is, it's beautiful. Let's just wait till we get inside. In the back we've got a very easy lift tailgate. Pops right up, lightweight. Give you a nice rain shelter here. Get that spare tire inside where it belongs. And talk about spare tire, we've got a full size spare. That's very, very important. The safety systems of this vehicle are extreme. And we do not want to have to turn off safety systems like vehicle stability assist by using a smaller spare tire. Honda wants you safe at all times. That's very, very important. Back here we've got nice netting, a nice pull out concealment. Very nice. This obviously can be removed. This is something new here, I fancy. Pull this, that seat goes right down, the headrest folds automatically. And let's take a look at that back seat. Great cargo room, well done Honda. Nice blind spot elimination here with the extended window space. This is going to open to a full almost 90 degrees. That's very interesting. Nobody else in the segment does that. You can get that box in, that child very easily, that car seat. Most of the doors in the segment are going to open to right here. And that is very restrictive. This is wide open. Very well done. We've got nice leather treatment in here. Looks like everything is covered the way it's supposed to. Double sewn seams. This is going to last a long time. I've seen CRVs easily last 300,000 miles. I own one myself. It's extremely economical, durable, and safe. And that's what it's all about. Honda engineers the three joys into everything that they do. And I get a lot of enjoyment every time I start mine up. Cup holders back here. I'm going to fold this seat up. Leave this headrest down enables better visibility. If I put someone back here, I just simply put it right up. Let's put this seat down, and we're not slamming it. We never slam a Honda. We just put it down, and it clips right into place. Two additional cup holders here, and then we've got a you-know-what called strap right overhead. Everybody gets one all the way around, all four doors. Very nice. Map pocket here, flat floor, plenty of leg room. It looks like I could do about 6'4", six, 6'5", six, back here. This has been cut out of the way. I don't know if you can see that, but it enables you to wear that hat in the back seat. I'd say five adults could travel all day. Very, very comfortable in this particular unit. Very strong handles. Nothing's been left to chance. This vehicle has been built based on its current former and future reputation. We've got excellent plastic molding here throughout. This is very unusual. You don't see this in any type of vehicle. But what this means is this vehicle is going to age gracefully. We're not going to have rust or deterioration anywhere through there. Very pretty lights. Got a little sparkle there. Uh, it's kind of talking to me. Very good. Nice rake in that windshield. Obviously everything, all the attention to detail is based on wind noise reduction. Wind noise means better ability to go through the wind, which means better gas mileage. Now, up here we've got a good looking interior. Very nice blend between the soft saddle and what would be kind of like a taupe door. Very nice. All the hint grab points are darker. The carpet's a little darker so we're not going to show that dirt. A little bit new here in the console. First time we've used a fixed console in the CRV. USB port down here. Little phone cradle. That's going to charge your phone. It's also going to suck the songs out of any device you intend to hook up to it. And then you can control that right through your radio pod right here. Smaller steering wheel. The CRV has the smallest turning radius in the segment. As a result, a, a large wheel is not necessary. The small steering wheel means you can drive with your foot right here and you're not going to be hitting your knee if you like to drive like this with your knee cocked. Eco button, very important. When we turn that eco button on, that's saying, to the, that's saying that door sounded good. That's the way, it, let's, say, let's do that again. That's the way a vehicle should sound. Wow, it got real quiet in here. This is very, very nice and I still have my tailgate open. Let's go ahead and shut that tailgate. Should shut real easy. I'm not going to slam this. You just give it a little push. Perfect. The way it should. Nice trimming. Very well done. The engineers really worked on this one. Produced in East Liberty, Ohio. Way to go team. 
All right, here we got some nice space. Perfect, nice armrest for both sides. Spring-loaded cup holders. This console, it doesn't move. That's about as firm as it's going to be, and it's going to stay that way all the time. 300,000 miles, yeah, it's going to feel like that. Beautiful navigation screen, easy to see, easy to control. I can put my radio up there if I know what I'm, where I'm going, and then it's just touch screen. Of course, everything in the vehicle is also controlled by voice. All you have to do is simply tell the car what you want to do. Let's try one. What time is it? It is 1.55 p.m. Sweet. That is nice. Temperature, 75. Pardon? No. Temperature, 75. Driver temperature, 75 degrees. There's hundreds and hundreds of voice commands, so easy to use. We've got auto lights here, fog lights, very nice, auto on, auto off, you don't need to be concerned about that. Now let's go back to the eco button. When we press that, that changes the throttle response. It actually gives us more length at the pedal, and it encourages the driver not to have jackrabbit starch. You need to press the gas a little bit more to go, but that's all part of the fun of the driving experience. But in the meantime, your gas mileage increases. You get a gas mileage meter here that tells you your mile per gallon while you're driving, as well as your, wow, it's 94 degrees outside. Your outside temperature is there. Everything is given to the driver to encourage them to get the type of gas mileage that, uh, that they deserve across the board. The dash, it's going to change color. When you're driving efficiently, it's green. How about that? That encourages you and tell you, hey, you're doing the right thing. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a fantastic job. This little guy here changes our MDI our screen. Very nice. Little menu action. Fuel economy. Clock goes up there. Radio can go up there. Again, the radio can go down here as well. This is also our phone command center. There's no phone currently paired to the vehicle. A uh, bunch of phones can be brought in, it takes your address book in, missed calls, dial call, does it all automatically for you. Very, very nice, very, very easy to use. We do have a good old fashioned CD player up here for folks who still like to do the CD action. His and her, a little rubber knob, that feels good. You know, knobs are very important, it's part of safety. When I'm on my steering wheel here, I want to be able to reach right over, there's my volume. Reach, volume, same thing, temperature control. Just take my finger down one notch, and there's my fan. Very intuitive, very well designed. Nice chrome accents. Again, a little departure for Honda, but hey, you know, nothing wrong with being attractive. Nice glove box that locks, good size. Excellent simulated wood grain trim, matches very nicely, not overdone at all. Just that one strip across the dash. Up here, obviously, sunglasses go here, conversation mirror here, auto close moonroof, it's a big boy. Just hit it and forget it and it shuts itself automatically. One of my favorite features, let's put this in reverse. There's our three view backup camera. Okay, right there is a normal view. There's our wide angle view and my favorite, straight down. See us moving? That dotted line I think looks like about a foot off the back bumper. Let's go back to the wide angle in the middle. Now what's cool about that is you can literally just drive around backwards you never have to worry about hitting anything because it's right there. See that car behind us? Let's get a better look there. There we go. Let's go to the top down view so we can see it coming right at us. Shut our moonroof. There it is. There we go. See her coming in there? I can come right up to that car there. I'm about a foot off of that car. If I look in the mirror, it looks like I'm already on it. But I can trust this and know that I am right there with that dotted line that's running across very sweet well done Honda very well thought out let's move on up here and do a little drivability locks locked automatically very easy to turn nothing to it let's check out that turning radius shall we wow look at that just drive right through there nothing to it very easy check our left and our right let's go up through this little corridor here this guy is trim easy fit nothing to it Fun to drive, plenty of space for five adults, fantastic safety rating. Well, thank you. That must be Ms. Honda. Nice voice, not too obtrusive. Passenger seatbelt. So I'll take that, 
move on. Here we go, very nice. Easy to drive. Let's take a look at that turning radius. I got a little space here, not a lot. Lock to lock, around we go. That's good. That is sweet. That is a small circle. And that means drivability, drivability, drivability. So there you have it in a nutshell. Fun to drive, economical, lots of space, awesome sound system, that goes without saying. It's a good looking vehicle at a fantastic price point. Highest resale value in class, best selling in segment, the 2012 Honda CRV. That's all, folks. Have a great day.